We're here today with Andrew Tunks, CEO of Auroc Minerals. Andrew? David, great to be here. Thank you very much. Are you able to share some of the Auroc history? Sure. So uh, Auroc previously has had a gold project in Mozambique, which, which was a tough project for a variety of reasons and um, ultimately decided to move that project on. And through that process, uh, received about 10 million US. And uh, that recapitalised the company. And based on that, we came up with a new strategy to move into the metals that are crucial, crucial to the renewable energy industry. So our strategy then was to go out and find some new projects uh, focusing on lithium, cobalt, which are crucial elements to the lithium iron battery, and also copper, because we feel that there's um, a, a supply issue coming up with copper. And, um, and that really relates to the lithium battery um, renewable energy generated through wind farms and, and of course the big disruptor I think will be electric vehicles. We're seeing that right through Asia now. Massive increase in electric vehicles and, and of course they were going to require lithium ion batteries and additional copper. So that's our focus. Some of the recent milestones the company's achieved? So you know a year ago we didn't have a project uh, since that time, we've, we've uh, acquired projects in the Caribib, which is in Namibia, which is a lithium project. Uh, and we haven't been very active there yet. We're waiting on some key government approvals. From there, we uh, acquired a, a, a joint venture in Portugal, and we've been active in that project straight away. So that's a, a deep exploration for copper and zinc targets on the Iberian pyrite belt. And, the crucial thing about that is it's next door to one of the world's great mines, Nevis Corvo, one of the 200 million tonnes high grade copper and zinc. So we feel that's a great project, an underexplored part of the belt, and we've just completing our third hole there. So that was our first drilling program as a company since the recapitalisation. And then most recently we've acquired, uh, through a due, we're in the middle of the DD at the moment, a nine month DD on the Tisava copper cobalt project. Tissab is fascinating. It, it's had a history of mining since the 1200s. It's in, uh, it's in the Czech Republic on the border with what was East Germany, so Saxony. And uh, it's been mined there since the 1200s for copper, for sulphur. It was re, uh, re-mined by the communists from 1959 to 1973, but they produced only copper. And the copper is just one part of a very big polymetallic system. They never explored for anything else. Now, their reports from that time describe gold, describe cobalt, describe silver, but they didn't assay for anything. So we've gone back to the old data. Uh, there's an old mine there. There's 30 kilometres of underground development. There's uh, you know a giant history of mining, but very focused on these copper lenses. We believe that the potential is outside the copper lenses in the wider ore body um, for cobalt, gold and copper. And that's what we're about. Well, we've just started drilling there as of last week and very excited about it. And so upcoming milestones for shareholders to focus on? Sure. So uh, we're finishing off the drilling program phase one in Portugal and uh, we've just started drilling in Tisaba. So there'll be results from both projects coming through over the next couple of months. Um, and, and particularly Tisaba, because of the old history of mining, we are exploring an old mine and that's the best place to find more ore. We know that we're going to hit ore. What we don't know is what the grades will be, what the continuity is going to be. But we're, we're, we're certain that we're going to hit thick zones of sulphide mineralisation and then what we have to do is reassay those to see where the grade is and, and, and is it economic. So, you know, very exciting time. Andrew, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, David.